Sandra. <laughs> Do you like Valentine's Day? Not particularly. Why not? It seems very um, forced. I think I kind of agree with you because we've never really celebrated Valentine's no, we Day, haven't. have we? You actually canceled on me twice. Two years in a row. Well, one time you tried to take me to a restaurant that you used to frequent with your ex-girlfriend. Not ex-girlfriend. I went on dates with, a, with a, there are various other girls at this restaurant, but it's a really good restaurant. What you was know, a restaurant? So, so you remember exactly what I'm talking about. Sure. But that's why you canceled? <laughs> no! <laughs> kind of fashion thing. Not. When did you know that you loved me? Probably when we first started dating again when we got back together. Whoa, I didn't know I loved you until like a week ago. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Come on. I figured it out when you were putting that cream on my back for my fungus. And I was like, gosh, if he'll do this for me and then still want to procreate, that's how I know it's real. Baby, how did we meet? We met on Facebook. No, I stalked you on Facebook. And but that's not really how we met. We randomly this doesn't meeting cross paths at a Halloween party. In Chelsea, yeah, um, and where I think I spotted, probably spotted your friend, and then did you spot friend. her thinking, "Damn, I no. want a piece of that"? No, oh no, because then I would. Well, I spotted your friend, and yeah. I think what what worked for us right off the bat was the how well that you gave me, and how warm it was, and how I reciprocated. And uh, can you reenact how I said hello? Do you remember what it was like? Uh, Really? Something like that. That's good. We should do that more often. Yeah. I think I should try that on Anna Wintour. So you're going to Anna! Anna! I love you! I love you! Institute! What do you find to be my most man repelling garment? I actually don't know this. I'm not even Right to ask now? That. Yeah. I have to think. I have to think about all your. I'm literally going through I your closet know. right now. I think I know. <sighs> you hate all my baggy jeans so much. I don't like the boyfriend jeans anymore. They're not boyfriend jeans. They're husband jeans. Husband jeans. They're brother jeans. I don't like the boyfriend jeans with the stiletto heel. I hate that look. I don't even know if you wear that. Um, That's such a good look. I don't like that. What What don't you like about it? I'm just. I'm very curious. I feel like you're just you're skinny leg in, in that wide jean and the skinny heel. It just there's so much floating. You don't fabric. like the imbalance? I personally like tighter pants. I feel, I feel uncomfortable for you. Right. It's perfectly fine that my legs are just floating uh, yeah, feel, in rings I'm of denim. I'm just feeling uncomfortable. Totally I would okay be uncomfortable if I were wearing that. Right? Would, so that's what I don't like. I, and I would be uncomfortable if I were wearing women's jeans as a man. Or like very, very skinny jeans. Oh, they're so comfortable. What's so comfortable about them? You've got, a pa- you've got stuff. No, no, there's, there's enough room there. It's fine. Okay. Fine. So what's your favorite thing that I wear? Like, if you could dress me, what would you put on me? Formal or informal? Both. I like when you dress up for formal occasions. You do? And you, you know, wear designer whatnot. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I wear, what is it, so you like what I, what are you trying like, to say? When you dress up. When I wear up. Celine? Yeah, Celine's always good. <laughs> and there's some sort of crop Poor guy. from the stomach guy. or back or whatnot, and then a beautiful so flowing bottom. So you like a sliver of showing skin yeah. and a beautiful flowing bottom. Mm-hmm. You find that more comfortable than no, of course large not. loops but I like, of denim? I like, when, I like when we're ready, you know, we're dressed up ready to go to a wedding or something. Yeah. Because um, it reminds you of ours? Yeah. Yeah. I like when you're in that oversized uh, row sweat- sweater and comfortable <laughs> jeans. You know that one? How do you one? know the row makes that sweater? We're gonna go on another date. No. I hope not. That would suck for me. Do you think that when we go out for dinner, it's still dates? No, I don't like the date night reference. We just go for dinner. We always go for dinner. I know, but I like what we call it a date because then I feel like you have to talk to me for <laughs> longer, as opposed to look at your phone and be like, "Me, you see look at my phone." Did, I don't know anybody who goes to Mykonos. Yeah. And is in bed every night at 10.30 p.m. except for us. We had a great many crazy days, though. We <laughs> yeah, pelican watching. No. <laughs> it was not even we relaxing. We're on vacation. What? I know, but we were... You don't like the, you no, I, do, I don't regret it. I'm just saying. I was expecting like I was expecting us to like, have some cocktails and, and the dance on uh, tables. 
our own table. But I'm not the drinker, so I know. Not my I know. I'm just saying that I find it unusual that my parents had a more robust social experience. And you keep using great. robust too much. <laughs> oh. It's not supposed to be used like that. This is turning out to be a non-robust evening. This this night is not. <laughs> this makes sense. <laughs> this is the opposite of robust. This night is the opposite of robust. I'm gonna robust your ass. <laughs> That's good. <cool. laughs> no, don't touch me. Cheek. <laughs> <laughs>